Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep gang. Kyrie Irving could be back on the court as early as Sunday. Was set out to be just a five-game suspension turned into a extended suspension as the owner decided to extend Kyrie Irving's suspension to a few more games. Uh, basically trying to call itself trying to son Kyrie Irving and act like he's father knows best, but he isn't because at the end of the day, Joe Sy is a hypocrite because he's tied to some some kind of scandal overseas in China. So he basically need to look in his own mirror before he try try to look at somebody else. But that's typical of somebody like him. But, you know, nevertheless, um, Joe Sy basically tried to public humiliate Kyrie Irving. He tried to cast straight him and he tried to buck break him. And um, at the end of the day, I appreciate the players union basically calling him out. Jalen Brown calling him out, say, hey, man, you doing too much. All these regiments and stipulations for him to get reinstated is absurd. Now, we don't know how far um, or how much of these regulations Kyrie Irving had to basically complete to get back on the court. But all this stuff about he needs to learn and all this kind of stuff is funny. They talking about what Kyrie Irving need to learn, but it's funny when we try to try to educate people on what goes on with us and why you shouldn't say certain things pertaining to us and all this type of stuff. They tell us to stop whining. We're being sensitive and all this kind of stuff. But like I say, you always see the double standard. And that's why I don't listen to a lot of these Negroes that be sitting up here talking this shit about uh, what we need to ignore. But then these going to be the same Negroes that will sit up there and, and get at another Negro for the sake of basically uh, defending uh, white supremacy. You know, basically protecting the other, but then trying to lower the boom on the brother. And, you know, those are the Charles Barkley's of the world and Shaquille O'Neal's and all them type of people. And it's funny, of all people, you got Candace Owens defending Kyrie Irving. Wow. Go figure. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, um, it is what it is. It's, it's just ridiculous, like I said before. The man going to sit up there and say, hey, Kyrie Irving needs to apologize. Then when he does apologize, he going to try to say, oh, well, you didn't apologize fast enough. Um, like I said before, um, I already know I couldn't have played professional sports because had somebody basically tried to come at me the way uh, Joe Sy was basically coming at Kyrie Irving and basically, you know, basically trying to you know, treat him like he's some kind of kid where they was just like publicly trying to uh, humiliate the man. That's where I would have drew the line. And I probably would have told the owner to go fuck himself, if not worst. And I'm trying to be really nice, you know, basically what I'm saying right now. So because uh, the other videos, I couldn't <laughs> uh, I couldn't record them. But, you know. I, I, what I was thinking of saying, you know, for obvious reasons, but nevertheless, uh, hopefully Kyrie Irving can get back on the court and, and put this past him and move on from this. Because at the end of the day, Kyrie Irving shouldn't have to keep asking, a, a, being asked questions and answering questions about this, because this is where you get kind of pissed off at the media. I think when he gets back on the court and he has this first, uh, post game press conference keep the answer short and say this is gonna be the last time i talk about this i'm moving on with my my career and that's just gonna be the bottom line me myself i think that, that i'll talk about that in another video but nevertheless you know good luck to kyrie Irving. that's real talk sport town beers i'm out